When you're doing exploration research, you endeavor to be in new territory as often as you possibly can, and that it's a cycle. Anyways, we're beginning our new cycle for the daily vlog. It's uh, 7 hours and 22 minutes into the day of Friday, November 6, 2020. And, of course, these things are, you, you have two cycles you have to worry about. You have to worry about capacity. Uh, do you have the capacity to move forward in terms of your equipment and so on and so forth? And that is a, has a material cost to it. It's a, an issue of budget and so on and so forth. And so there's a certain project that, well, due to the budget, you may be moving forward fast enough in terms of uh, increasing your own capacity in terms of your ability, but the thing is, is that you don't have the equipment to, to to do that. And so in order to grow faster, to give yourself more room to grow, uh, sometimes the budget ha the budget comes into play and you have to sort of work things around so that uh, uh, you can indeed grow or, or, or give yourself more room. And, and it really depends on... It, it is always a struggle. Typically... I was uh, almost about a year ago at the three-month mark. I was upgrading every three months uh, in terms of capacity upgrade. Now, I appear to be upgrading uh, almost every month. Uh, uh, the capacity upgrade is occurring, so uh, so is the uh, my level. My level is upgrading uh, on a monthly basis now. So in terms of the understanding of the tween cycle, uh, my tween years go down to about eight years old, about grade three. That's the beginning of the learning cycle. This is where the doors swing open and you become, uh, uh, there's a sort of infinite knowledge ahead of you. There is no definition. You are undefined. And uh, you reach the end stage, grade eight, grade nine, somewhat defined. And as soon as you get to that somewhat defined, you step forward just a little bit further you're into brand new territory again. You're back down to the to the undefined uh, portion of that cycle, and you repeat it again. You go from grade three up to grade nine ish, uh, repeating the cycle of at that at that point. You're at, an, at, at the end of the tween cycle, about grade eight, grade nine. You are you have some you are somewhat more advanced than you were back in grade three where you were just getting into things but what happens after grade uh, eight or nine the the capacity the infinite com capacity starts to, to, to trail off significantly this is where they become uh, uh, at, from grade nine on there is increasingly a narrowing down of the infinite capacity of the infinite knowledge and then move towards what we call a finite state. Uh, the finite state is the adult state. Uh, if you're an exploration researcher, and then this is I'm an exploration scientist, uh, my initial area was quantum physics and uh, cybernetics. That was the sort of the pinnacle of all sciences, and that leads you out to explore the entire universe. So in other words, as far as your mind can go, as far as your eye can see, uh, that's your territory to research. And I began that point, very, very basic. And it first took me, well, for, it took me five years to build my base library. Uh, once I had my base library done, that's where you start step off from. Then you start moving into other things. And the, the library isn't standard textbooks, although it does include standard textbooks. It looks for things that are kind of off the beaten path. There is a, a difference between what you're taught in school and what's going on in reality. And so what happens is you have to graduate from the textbooks into uh, the articles, through the research, through uh, observation yourself. Uh, there is a path to follow inward. And it just, it, it does take an enormous amount of time. But now I'm at a point where it appears to be that I'm doing these upgrades on a monthly basis. So uh, I've gone from uh, f like five years ago, being three, three every three months, to uh, two months, and then now down to one month. So these these are are are, are, are significant upgrades. These are 
uh, significant uh, moves into uh, the, sort of the tightening of the cycle between, or the tween cycle between grade three and grade eight, beginning your your, your undefined uh, self, and then getting to somewhat of a definition, and then going right back again. And that's 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 kind of the loop. Uh, and this is what puts me at my my research desk. And what amazes, what kind of amazes me, is with this whole chronic gas thing, is a lot more people now are having their own research desk. They this is where they're learning. They they have their own setup. The research desk is homeschooling, if you will. That's how you want to compare it. It's homeschooling, and my job is homeschooling. My job is studying. My job is research. And because I'm in an open and undefined area, this is exploration. There is no topic that is off limits, so I t have a tendency to do all the different topics. So right now I've got about an hour's worth of lectures to go through. Uh, and then I have to do some editing in, in the back research desk. There's some work that has to be done back there because uh, it's gone through another upgrade again. Uh, it's got a new phone, a new, uh, a new device, I should say. A uh, new mouse, uh, uh, another keyboard is coming in that would give me a better capacity than I had before. So I am fixing things up. Uh, that's kind of the way things go. We'll see if there's... We, I, I, I might be getting another package today. We'll see if there's going to be another package opening. That sort of remains to be seen. Uh, but otherwise, uh, onward and upward. still quite messy here but uh, it is uh, 12 hours and 45 minutes into the day of Friday November 6 uh, 2020 and we're here for another package opening the day's been going very well did a lot did a load of laundry uh, got all that fixed up uh, uh, the back research desk is working very well I'm very happy with the way things have turned out so let's get this uh, package opened. I really don't know what it is. It's hard to sort of f figure that one out. So let's open it and find out what I've got. Ah! Gloves. These are my writing gloves. I've been waiting for these for a while. I didn't think they were coming in right now. Sometimes you don't know whether things are coming in or not. So, uh, sometimes, oh, yeah, they're out. Well, well, they'll take another couple of months to get to you or, or a month to get to you. And then all of a sudden they just show up. These are much thicker than one I had before. Much thicker than one I had before. Ugh. Here they are. These these are the gloves, and these are nice riding gloves because they protect the knuckles and everything in case you fall. Uh, very good. These are excellent riding gloves. Now the question is, the finger test. Okay, these aren't cinched tight, so let's get them untightened. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. These are excellent riding gloves. Very, very nice. The next part now is the left hand. Okay. You don't know how the gloves are going to fit. So I tend to go a little small because the gloves I normally wear are extra large, but I want my gloves to be tight fitting and not to be loose at all. And there we go. These are the gloves. These are my riding gloves. And again, protection in case of an accident. Because that does happen. The, the things do happen when you're when you're on the on the bike, on the scooter, that will cause the problem. And so the only issue that I have here is the thumbs. 
are a little large, but they have a bending a, a bending joint that makes things flexible, so I can I can still be uh, uh, quite nimble with the gloves. So this is a definite riding advantage because the gloves I had before the thinner they were thinner gloves uh, were a little loose and. Um, little thin, I should say, not little loose, a little thin. So, these are my riding gloves. Of course, I've got to take this off. Well, actually, this no, is supposed to be, I sh I suppose, I'm I supposed to be able to uh, turn this off. So, let's see if I can turn this off. No, it doesn't, it does. I still have to take the, my gloves off in order to uh, do things. Anyways, it, it fits. It does. It, it's uh, a rugged design. I'm happy with it. It's taken me about an hour and a half to get here. And I'm vlogging as it is. This is the way things go for me, and this is the hair and everything like that. Is that uh, uh, to get up to come to here? It's about an hour and a half. I had things to do in between. Uh, I had to check the laundry. I had to go to the bathroom, and uh, the usual bits as you're getting up. I haven't yet gone to sort of fully wake up. Uh, I'm always I'm I wear I wear a shirt, but uh, I'm wearing my pajamas at the same time. So uh, uh, I kind of dress like this, so that uh, that's the way twenty four seven works. It's you're always on. You know, it doesn't matter whether it's day or night. Uh, this is twenty four seven, and this is the reality. This is what you're seeing is the reality behind uh, the life of a scientist. What does a scientist do, particularly if you're in exploration? Well, this is it. This is the life, and uh, uh, this is and because I exist as cyborg alpha, uh, that's why it's our life is cyborg alpha. And the thing is, the I and the me and the we are all interchangeable. Uh, I'm not particular on the uh, on the pronouns in terms of. Uh, the, the whether I or me or we or whatever like that it's, it, I'm not particular you know it just whatever comes to mind at the time sometimes you can think about it and, and you say oh well we did this and we did that but uh, sometimes it doesn't it just doesn't pop into your mind to say hey, hey, well uh, we're cyborg alpha uh, it's simply not a common phrasing for myself in terms of the way I think uh, even though the un the um, the uh, integration is such that uh, we is appropriate. Uh, it just, everything I have is wired, and, and I exist uh, almost entirely on uh, cyborg alpha in, in in both reality and in in uh, cyberspace on the internet. And so this is uh, where we get to in terms of. Uh, that understanding. So, uh, and today has yet to begin. I still have to do some gaming and meditation. That's what I'm here for now. This is the scheduled gaming and meditation. I'm a little off my time. Uh, yesterday, I think I was here around, uh, well, around 5 o'clock. We're about an hour off of our time uh, from yesterday. Oh. But this is the weekend vlog, and we're ending Friday's vlog. We're ending the last 24 hours. We always begin by ending the last 24 hours and then moving over towards uh, the next. And this sort of is something that uh, is kind of interesting, kind of, uh, because the next time you see me, it, it will be only like an hour to two hours later, and we'll be getting the weekend vlog uh, for Saturday and Sunday, and that's a single vlog. As it, because in many cases, there are days that do merge together and behave as one day. 
And so, uh, right now we're kind of in the holding mode because uh, we're waiting for new equipment to come in for an upgrade. There's going to be a major upgrade around here. Um, uh, where I'm sitting right now, there's going to be a major upgrade that's going to clear up a lot more space. Uh, add more capacity to the area in terms of what it can do, in terms of the functionality. And that will make a big difference. Uh, I did some uh, fixing up work yesterday in terms of... Uh, uh, there in, in the outside common area, uh, I put a garbage basket, a garbage bin, and it was filling up really quick. And I couldn't try, couldn't figure out why the garbage bin, because it's a large garbage bin, was filling up so quickly. And I realized that it had been filled with water. Uh, every time it rained, though, it just there's no way for it to where for the water to go. So what I did is I took my drill uh, and drilled two holes near the bottom. And it's a little space in between them, so it looks like it's two puncture marks from a vampire. <laughs> and it lets all the liquid out, so it, it, every time it rains, uh, it's not going to keep the water in there. It's got the, it's a, a, an outlet for the water. So for me, this is a good thing. It's that the, it, it gives a lot more space in the garbage bin, and I, I can, uh, I'll only have to clear out the garbage bin uh, uh, basically once a month. It'll be, the maintenance will be once a month, so... But these are the little things that get done. The laundry. Um, I, I was able to get more uh, clothes into the dryer than I did before. So uh, things seem to work out on a better scale. You, every time you do something uh, on a repeated basis, uh, there are ways to improve. Things get better. Things get easier. The efficiency gets better. So it takes you less effort to get something done than you did before. And that's kind of what you want to do. And so the next step up now for me will be today will be to use the new gloves that came in uh, and see how they feel uh, because they'll be they'll be good better in the t uh, the cold weather and they protect my hands. And I mean I have other gloves that I use, but the, I, t today isn't going to be again another test. And it's going to be uh, I should say later on today it's going to be. Um, Let's see if I can start vlogging more on the bike so that you get a, a vlog and a ride. So, uh, and that means I'm vlogging as I'm, as, as I'm on the scooter. So I'm not just simply talking about the road and, and, and how I'm doing that because I'm still learning. But rather uh, uh, more along the, the lines of our discussion here on the vlog. So we have the conversation, even though I'm on the scooter, continues.